Hello everybody. Happy May 20th, 2019. This is Mara's Monday Magical Messages and we are ready to go. So we're going to start off with our oil of the week, which um, is On Guard, uh, which is, you know, a doTERRA blend um, with uh, you know, some amazing immune boosting, but also some um, really protective oils, but protective in in some different ways. Um, so it's got um, orange, uh, you know, wild orange, clove buds, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary in it. But what really came through, and this you can, uh, again, diffuse, breathe in, of course, um, you can dilute it and put it on directly on your skin. A lot of times I put it on my throat. Um, there's so many on guard products you can use, etc. But what really came through is this really wonderful protect blend that um, I use that a dear shaman friend, uh, some of you know her, Cara, Dr. Kara Hanks in New Hampshire. She created this years and years ago at this point, but it has been so powerful for me and I still use it all the time. And this is the blend that's coming in for this week. Um, so if you don't have a protect blend, um, you can use the On Guard because it is protective um, energetically and um, immune system wise and physically, chemically. But the, the blend has um, this, I put in a 10 ml bottle, um, 10 drops of On Guard, 10 drops of Terra Shield, 10 drops of Melaleuca or tea tree oil, and 10 drops of frankincense. So it has four different oils in it. On Guard, Terra Shield, frankincense, Melaleuca or tea tree. So those four oils, 10 drops of each, are in this blend. The rest is filled with fractionated coconut oil. And this um, really creates a loving space for yourself. And it really helps us to feel our own energy, where we're at. It kind of creates a bit of a bubble around us. And then, um, and it helps to protect us from whatever else is happening outside of us. I just spent a beautiful weekend with family um, at a graduation um, with a lot of really amazing, um, you know, 20 somethings um, age wise. And, you know, it's just such beautiful people and wanting to do so much good, but also just feeling really lots of overwhelm and lots of change with what's happening in their own lives. And so we were talking about putting in some of these kinds of tools, using these tools in terms of their everyday. So we made up lots of cool um, doTERRA blends that were specific for each one of them, but almost every single one of them, we made up this protective blend so that they could begin to practice and feel into their own systems and um, and then know how to move forward from a place of more grounding and more clarity. So it really helps us, it's not just about like, I don't want any negative energy touching me, it's not really that. It's more a matter of creating a beautiful, safe, grounded space for yourself and your own energy and enjoying that. Um, it's like sometimes we can't even feel ourselves anymore. We don't, we don't know where we're at. And so um, this blend really helps me to do that. So the full moon was Saturday, lots of energy. Uh, we're still enjoying some of the effects of that um, Scorpio moon. It was also like a truth moon. Um, and so when, you know, what is personally true for each one of us is really what needs to be acknowledged, allowed, and ultimately accepted in our lives. What is personally true for each one of us? It's going to be different for each one of us. And so again, using some tools like these oils, like a meditation practice, um, perhaps a yoga practice, 
um, feeling into our bodies and getting that body sense and getting answers from ourselves um, is really, really powerful. And, um, and really just being dedicated to our own life path uh, the full moon of Saturday really um, helped to clear the way and as it always does and, and continue making the path more visible with the moonlight. You can imagine when we have these beautiful full moons, it's moving us. We can see the path more clearly in front of us. So um, enjoy that. Okay, so that's our oil. Then lapis lazuli is our... Um, our uh, crystal of the week, Lapis Lazuli, is the wisdom keeper, and it's all about truth and awareness and wisdom. So isn't that perfect for what we're talking about in terms of um, being more aware and dedicating ourselves to our own personal truth? So use the Lapis Lazuli, um, put it in your pocket, keep it at your desk, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful stone with um, all kinds of flecks of gold and silver and this gorgeous blue. So it's a wisdom keeper. So, so think about that and it helps us um, in terms of our truth. So lovely. Um, okay, our cards of the week. The first one is I Live in Harmony and Beauty. I think that this card came up literally as like a like trying not to be so heavy. So <laughs> reminding us to lighten up a little bit, you know, like, and to, if we set that intention on a daily basis, like I'm living in harmony and beauty, you start to really see it all around you and um, see it even uh, more strongly. And um, so, yeah, I live in harmony and beauty. Sure. So do I. Love it. Uh, next card is, what am I most afraid of losing? So, um, you know, as we move forward and as we start to feel our own truth, maybe, and see our path more illuminated and start to step more clearly into that, um, fear can come up. And what it really is, is a fear of losing something uh, like if I am really myself I'm going to lose maybe friends family maybe you won't be able to work where you're working or or something along those lines so so it's that fear and really what it is is the illusion uh, that somehow we have control over all of this stuff that's outside of ourselves so just keep reminding yourself that you are, that this is re you're not going to lose anything. The truth is that that you can't lose anything because we really don't have control over anything <laughs> except for maybe ourselves and that's a maybe, but um no I'm kidding. We do have some control over ourselves, our emotions. We have control over more than we think, but in terms of ourselves but not in terms of the outside so so when you have that fear of losing someone or something remind yourself that that is an illusion of control and it doesn't really exist um, and a great mantra is just I am loved I am safe and I belong I'm supposed to be here right at this exact space and time there are no coincidences, there's no accidents, there's no mistakes. So, um, so yeah, I love this reminder for all of us as we step more into our truth. When you, when you bump up against some of that resistance, it's really, it's really just, but it's really fear, and it's that fear of losing control, but it's an illusion of control, so practice. A little something to practice. Okay, and a final, final, or no, it's not the final, sorry, joke. Star Mother is the next card. I have one more card after her. So Star Mother is, um, you know, how can you mother yourself? I'm just going to read from our little Rebecca Campbell book. Um, you are love in motion. If you allow... 
Uh, if allow it, you are already healed. And let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your tears. Your capacity to love and to hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. So this is, you know, leads back to finding your truth. And when you find your truth and you feel at home uh, and safe in who you are and your truth, it's very easy to love yourself and then be able to love your world and your life and your people and your world and life even more. Final is the, um, was from the goddess uh, card deck and it was about fairness. Um, and again, I thought this was just a beautiful, you know, final reminder that all parties involved in your process will be and are served when we follow our hearts, our guts, our body sense, and when we trust in the wisdom of the whole. So again, when we, when we do that, ultimately, um, you know, it's like when we move, uh, from one place to another, you know, it, it can feel very much like you're losing, you're leaving certain people, right? You're losing certain circumstances or um, places where you lived and, and you are moving to a whole different situation. And so it can feel like it's not serving, but it is 100 million percent serving everyone involved. Some people get to step in and step up it more into their power because you're not there anymore. Um, some people get to then meet you and you get to meet them and move on in, on your paths together. So um, there's always blessings surrounding the whole thing and, and it's not an accident that it's happening. So trust in the wisdom of the whole situation and of, um, you know, the divine and the universal love that surrounds us. So, happy Cowboy Day, cowboys. Have a gorgeous week, enjoy. I hope this was helpful and I so, so look forward to all of you, uh, seeing all of you next week. Um, use that Protect Blend or use On Guard and see how it helps to serve you in terms of going deeper into yourself. And um, I love you guys. Bye. Namaste.